fun fact. Google's feedback box is actually a paper shutter. Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. Uh, considering, I, I took a look at this between parts, my kinstone bag doesn't really have as many kinstones as I thought it did. I think today is going to end up being a heart piece slash item collection slash um, upgrade abilities day. So first, Shopkeep! I want your boomerang because I have enough rupees. This is a whopping 300 rupees. Yeah, you're paying 300 rupees for what is essentially a painted wooden stick. <laughs> but anyway, you've got a boomerang now. Yes, I am a big spender. I'll show you the properties of the boomerang as I flop around the overworld because I'm going to do some uh, other stuff as well. I've got Postman out of the way. Oh, so you have a kinstone fusion. I have, I have no need for you right now. <laughs> um, I'll probably fuse with stuff along the way just because, if I can, I should say, like if I come across stuff. Oh, 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 oh! Boomerang! Pull stuff towards you with the boomerang. Yep, that's one of the abilities of it. And luckily, I got a kinstone piece from that. You can get kinstone pieces, or at least the green ones, from just about anywhere. So, like, if you were uh, grinding for kinstones, you would just like uh, break apart some rocks, maybe cut cut through some grass, whatever, whatever you please, basically to get kinstones. Like there could be kinstones in this grass. It's all randomized and stuff like that. So yeah, I wish you luck with that. <laughs> um, this this spot over here doesn't really have anything for us right now, but I think I'm just gonna unlock this for later for the sake of convenience. Up here is a switch. This makes a bridge form, well, I don't, I don't want to say form, I think it's supposed to be like a sort of drawbridge of sorts, but it doesn't really look like a drawbridge considering that it looks ropish. Uh, but anyway, this leads you back over to, uh, this is the pathway to Hyrule Castle, so now you know where you are. I'm just going to backtrack through here and go back through Mount Crenel, and you know, I'm gonna switch to the boomerang just because I would like to show more of the properties. Um, it doesn't typically kill uh, most enemies, but it does stun them and makes them easier to kill. I'll show you that when I see some critters like you. Watch this. Oh, that's um, another range. I'm used to another kind of... Yeah, see that? It's stunned. It makes it much easier to kill them. Uh, okie dokie. I think you get the idea, and you know that already you already know that it pulls stuff towards you, and that's pretty much the properties of the boomerang. Um, you can run away from the boomerang and sort of direct it to where you want it to go, like so, because it homes back in on you, and you can take advantage of that. But anyway, the reason why I want to go through Mount Crenel is not to explain the boomerang, per se, but to get something in this cave, if you recall. There are these flashy rainbow tiles, and I'm pretty sure you're going to know how to solve this puzzle. <laughs> Especially since you were just at the Elemental Sanctuary. And there we go. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, yes. It's another Sword Master. And a heart piece. You're just gonna raid his house, because why not? I should say raid his dojo. Wow, it's a lot of cash. <laughs> Alright. Ah, believe not what others tell you, I am the true master swordsman of Hyrule! My name is Greyblade, and if you train with me, you will learn much! So, would you like to train here? Yes, please! You will learn the amazing roll attack! Spoiler alert, it's not really all that amazing and it's not really all that useful. <laughs> First, roll with control pad and R. Second, as soon as you get up. Third, scream hi and scream your sword, or swing your sword. That's all, young swordsman. Do you understand? Yes, I do. So let's, oh, well answered. You have much promise. Take over my body already. <laughs> yeah, this is just a repeat of before, except they switched the name with Grey Blade instead of Switch Blade. POSENSION! And that's how it works. Basically, when you're coming out of your roll, just swing your sword. It's not all that difficult to do, but it's not all that useful because when you're rolling, as you know, you roll faster than the screen, it's hard to react to stuff you're rolling into unless you're rolling and swinging your sword all the time, but that can, but that in itself can actually get you in trouble sometimes as well, unless you really know the layout of an area. 
<clears throat> anyway, we got the roll attack, so we got a little up upgrade to our moves. Woo! Woo! All right, do you have any kinstones to fuse? No. No, there is nothing left for me to teach you. Your training must continue within the realm of your mind. After all, the way of the sword requires much discipline. Yes. He doesn't have anything else here, but I just thought I would see what else he had to say there. So this little cave is completed. Uh, I forgot something when I, when I was coming up through this place before. I, I think... Keyword think it is... No, no, not this way. That's that's leading up to the shortcut to um, the mines as well as the second dungeon. Ow! Wait a second. Where? I'm looking for a vine is... I think it's... Ah, why do I keep taking hits? <laughs> I, will, I, will, I will grab this pocket change. I need to recover my pocket change. I think this is the vine I'm looking for. The reason why I want this vine is because... Yeah, this is the one. I forgot this right here, and the reason why I was looking for the vine is because I knew I had to grow a vine in order to get through this. Look at that! There's a little hole there that I did not uncover before. I'm gonna raid this person's house just because. And maybe this person also might have a uh, kinstone to fuse. No. Water is life for kennel beans! The blue beans grow and you pour water on them, but the green beans like moon- Oh, this is the explanation for the bean puzzle that I already knew how to do because I played through this game a billion times. Oh, red kinstone piece. Is this the one with the teeth that I need? No, it's the wrong kind. But that's okay, I, I'm gonna need all the kinstone pieces I can get, I suppose, for future fusions. Ah, well, I pressed up and I re-entered the, the hole by mistake. <laughs> all right, so I'm, 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 Anyway, I was glad that I came through there for that kinstone piece, at least. I'm not really sure if the kinstones you get from uh, some chests are randomized. It's really hard to tell because it's not like something that you could easily do yourself without playing through the game and marking down every treasure chest as you go. And that's not something that is like practical for playing. I can hop, yeah, I can hop down there. I thought so. <laughs> Anyway, let's go back to town and do some more stuff. Act wait, oh, 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 actually, I forgot something in that northern Hyrule place, come to think of it, that I think I can get right now. Can I get this now? I think I can. I think I can. I think I can. Uh, not that. This. Um, bombs. Sign. <laughs> Bloop. I'll go through here. Actually, you could also take that ladder up there. That ladder also takes you to this place, but I just bombed that rock because it's faster. You know, like, it creates shortcuts for later. Um, go through here. Oh, this isn't the spot I'm thinking of. Curses! Curses. Where is the spot? Hmm... Hold on, hold on, I just realized I'm kind of stupid. Go back through here. These are stairs leading down, not up. <laughs> and there is a piece of heart, so you can grab that now. Uh, from here, you're kind of stuck until a little bit later, so remember that for later. Anyway, I'm gonna go head back to the town, so I'll see you there. Alright, starting from here at the town, I'm sure you know where we are, because that's the shop and whatnot. Uh, where is the... I think this is the house I'm looking for. Yes! Okay, I'm going to flip this. Transform to the Minish and chat with this doggy. You ought to be careful when you're running around. You're awfully tiny. Not all dogs and cats are nice like me. <laughs> Some of them might even take a swipe at you. <laughs> Uh, let's fuse some kinstones. Yeah, you uh, some of the kinstone fusions that are random can actually be found uh, through the animals around here. So you will likely have quite the task ahead of you. Uh, I, I didn't really explain um, the kinstone fusion thing very well, did I? You know, the, the random fusions. Okay, the, the first non-random fusion is by the hurdy-gurdy guy, which is... 
uh, mandatory one. The second is by the house with the yellow roof on the uh, upper left portion of the town. The third is the mayor. The other 19 are completely random with people that you can meet through the game. Anyway, climb up this vine as you're a minish, and you'll notice that there's a little flowery path here. Oh! 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 I can't pick it up. No! Yes, I can. <laughs> And there is the last heart piece that I think I can get at this point in the game. So, I think I'll explore around town and see who might be willing to fuse kinstones. More specifically, I'm going to go around in minish form and see what's up. Like, uh, for here for instance, this cat could potentially have a kinstone. It does want to fuse kinstones. Ah! Wow! Would you like to fuse kinstones? Oh, I can, and it's Purry the cat. <laughs> so there's another kinstone fusion that you can do now, I guess. Well, actually, maybe you don't have this fusion. It could be some other animal. What am I saying? These are randomized, and that leads. That is. Oh, oh! I know where that is. Yep. Yup, yup, you're back near our house. That's a rather easy spot to get to. Uh, okay, this little chick up here might actually... Oh, it does have a fusion. Eep, one of the minish... Beep! I'm not like one of my brothers. I won't chase you around and freaking you. Beep, 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 beep! I'm not like that. I'm not like that. I'm not like that. I'm not like that. you, you. Somewhere in height. <laughs> that was so totally in... Um, you, uh, even I was speaking gibberish there, I noticed. Because <laughs> I'm speaking too fast. <laughs> Somewhere in Hyrule, there's a great fairy who helps on his adventures. If you see her, answer her every question truthfully. Beep! And fusion time! If I have the right piece, I do. It's a cuckoo chick. Yeah, the, the cuckoos will sometimes attack you. I mean, certain ones will attack you. Some cats may attack you as well. Um, This looks familiar. Northern Hyrule field, right? Yep, that's what I thought. Perfect! Beep. All right. Uh, let's look around in the little holes of places to see if I have access to now. I have to push. This is something for later. Uh, you can push this later on once you get a strength upgrade of sorts. But hello. Hello. Well, neither of you have kinstone fusions. You can tell if somebody has a fusion um, if they have. A little bubble up here above their head and then you just press the L button next to them but they don't have anything. <laughs> Especially when no one even sees the Minish, that's an extra bad problem. Because you know people wouldn't even know where to uh, look for. Alright, let's leave here. Maybe I should start grabbing some of those um, Kinstone rewards now actually. Just because I can. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It, might, it might actually lead me to um, a, a red kinstone piece with the proper teeth. Wait, what, what was that? Did you, oh, I thought he wanted to fuse kinstones again. I was gonna say, I thought I already did that one. <laughs> so, um, it's possible that some of the kinstones, some of the kinstone fusions that you do will lead to other kinstones that you can use to fuse with other people that require kinstones. As a matter of fact, a lot of the blue and red kinstone pieces that you get are from these little skinstone side quests. Although, very rarely you can find them out in the field when you cut stuff. What is down here? Fairy Fountain! Fairy Fountain! I mean, I, that, I, that's a good reward, I guess, for like, stuff later. But, eh, I wanted something important. <laughs> um, I should also make a little note here. To, um, if you fuse kinstones, You'll notice that there will always be a mark on your map until you visit that spot. So the map, in a way, sort of acts as a checklist of sorts, in that you will not be able to miss... Um, you won't have to worry about forgetting something. Um, I guess I'll travel to South Hyrule Field and then head, head over to the Minish Woods before I end off this part. That sounds like a good idea. 
And I think between parts, what I'm gonna do is grind for a lot of kin stones. <laughs> You can find them practically anywhere, as I've said before, I, I think I said it before. And so just cut rocks, cut grass, whatever you need to... Oh wait, let's, let's see what is here, just for the fun of it. I think this is a fairy fountain, actually. Notice that there's a little hole there. It's a little hint that you'll be able to swim later on. Another fairy fountain, yep. <laughs> After we just found one. <laughs> Well, there's another convenient spot for a fairy fountain, I suppose. So over here is one of the spots that we open up. What does this give us? A bunch of rupees. Yay! It's always nice to have, I suppose. I wonder if there's anything uh, important back at the shop. Before I head off to the Minish Woods, I should check that out. I think there might be, but I don't think I have a large enough wallet for it. Larger bomb bag. See, up 600 rupees. I will buy that. Ah, oh, poopers. I just want to show that once. <laughs> so yeah, I, I quite literally can't get this because I don't have the wallet upgrade. Um, but I think actually I'll be able to get that shortly at the Lon, Lon Ranch. I think that spot that's flashing is where I could get a wallet upgrade. So I'm gonna keep that in mind for later once I go through there. But I can't go through there right now because I can't pass through the house that I need to go through in order to do that, so yeah. So I was, I was actually gonna try to do the roll attack there, like I was gonna do... Oh, I failed. Oh, how did I do that? I mean, how did I do that spin attack? I wanted to just... unless that does it automatic. Hold on, I just want to see that. I don't care if I'm taking damage, actually. Okay, that kind of happens automatically. I forgot about that. <laughs> Alright, anyway. Um, this this area right here, with all this grass, is actually pretty ideal for getting kin stones. Uh, a lot of serious shells as, as well, I guess, here. Uh, over here is actually... Uh, something that I can do a little bit later on. Uh, not that... That is actually something I can do later on, but yeah, it's another one of these high contrast trees. And that's indi indicating that there's a little portal underneath it, or through it or something. I don't even know what happens to the trees once um, I blow them apart. And there's no one there right now at that upper tier. Oh, there's going to be someone, someone that most people hate. Unless you're in Japan. <laughs> someone that most people are hates is going to be right up there on that tier oh boy oh yes anyway we're at the minish woods now and wait a second did i oh, i'm too far south aren't i wait actually can i no i can't go through here can i no i can't dang it it's it would take longer for me to go um through the village than if I were to go around this way, I think, so... Back around this way, I suppose. There we go. This is the entrance that I was actually thinking about going through. I can't believe I went to the lower one. Sometimes I do the dumbest things. <laughs> anyway, the place that opened up is right... Well, not the place that opened up. It is a treasure chest, and it contains a red kinstone piece. Is this the one that I need? Yes, it is! Ooh! I'm at 20 minutes in this part, but... You know what? Because I want to get this out of the way ASAP, I'm gonna do this now. Um, there is a side quest that I want to do. It's, it's that mandatory guy. I mean, the, the guy that always has a, um... How? That always has a Kinstone Fusion back at town at the upper left corner of the town. Well, that's... Uh, oh, wait, okay, I can go around this way, that's right. Dang it! <laughs> oh, I have bombs out. Dang it as well. The guy that has a mandatory kinstone fusion, the guy that's from a faraway land... Why do I keep saying mandatory? I mean, it's a guaranteed kinstone fusion. Anyway, that guy... He leads you to a little side quest here. 
And this side quest, if you don't do it before you reach a certain time in the game, you will actually lose out on an item upgrade permanently. So that's why I want to do this now, just, just to make sure I get this out of the way. Back at South Hyrule Field, it'll open up a little war portal. Yeah, this, this is actually a war portal. It actually looks more to me like some sort of glowing egg. <laughs> that, that's just what it always looked like to me. But no, rest assured, it is indeed a war portal. And I'm gonna do a little side quest right now. I need the Gust Jar to do that, which is no issue, because you get that from the very first dungeon in the game. And the spot is right over here. Ooh, and you appear here. Where is here exactly? Well, look at that. We are over here on the map, and we can't actually tell where we are. It's a mysterious area. Oh, Kinstone Pieces! Yes! I could use them! Very much so. <laughs> now, this guy is blocking the door right now, but don't worry about that. I came here through a warp. Do you believe me? Probably not. <laughs> But anyway, you want to go up here, and just keep you keep following, following the stairs. Nobody believes me, but I saw a ghost that has taken hold of Granddad. Oh, that's preposterous. There is no such thing as go. Oh, jeez! What's in here? It's a kinstone piece. Oh, and there's a ghost over there, too! Oh! What else? What do you have to say about this spect <clears throat> specter? Well, that's too bad. Well... Amazingly, I think this is actually a reference to like Ghostbusters or Luigi's Mansion or something like that. Suck in the ghost with the gust jar, power it up to max. You need to get have it at maximum power in order to do this. Just keep following it, keep... I don't know, I want, I want to suck you in. Come on. Come on. I want... You can tell it's affecting it. Come on. There we go. Voila! Well, well, well! Look at how the color has come back to his face! How can I ever thank you? I still have such a hard time believing he'd be possessed by a monster, though. Can you speak with me now? What? An evil spirit had taken hold of me and you drove it away? You! You might be right! I can already feel my energy returning! It's, I'll be able to get out of this bed soon. What's your name? Link? Thank you, my boy. You saved me. My boy! And you get a whopping 100 mysterious shells that we still don't know what are for. Well, I know what they're for, but you don't, unless you've played this game before. <laughs> I will do that. As a matter of fact, I'll be coming through here later on in the game. Now, this, if you don't do this now, before you get to this place later on in the game, you will miss out on an upgrade to one of your items. I'll explain this later on, but if you do this now, you will be safe, so don't worry. You are good now that you did it, well, unless you didn't do it. If you didn't do it, well, panic and go ahead and do it. <laughs> but as for now, I think that's enough side questing for one part. So, I hope you enjoy, and I will see you in the next part, after I grind for some kinstones, I guess. <laughs>